In this video, we're going to be going through a brief setup of your imprinting test plate. We do have a few different varieties of these. Some of them may have batteries, um, some of them may not. Um, if you have batteries, obviously you'd go ahead and put the batteries um, in the bottom. In the case of this imprinter here, it does not require batteries. Instead, we have a typical uh, USB kind of printer port that we will be using. Um, typically with your imprinter, we have a few functions. As you can see, there's an on off switch over here. We have two 3.5 millimeter adapters, and then we have the power cord over here. Now in the instance, if you have batteries, obviously you will not need that um, power cord. So to go ahead and set this up, don't forget we have a, um, a on off switch over here, 3.5 audio jacks, and then the printer cable. So included with your purchase, you will receive one of these cables. As you can see, this fits snugly in there. And then the other side, you will need to go ahead and plug into a USB port. So with this, you can either plug it into your computer, if your computer has a, a USB port, or alternatively, you can just go ahead and get one of these cubes and attach it, attach the cube and then plug it into your local uh, power supply so let's go ahead and do that now that we've got the power supply plugged in it's secure as you can see we have no light so the next thing is we actually want to turn the switch over here on so i'm just going to use this or a simple pen or pencil or anything like that and as you can see we now have a blue pilot light perhaps with a light you can't see but you can see there's a slight blue pilot light that is on this is now indicating that your imprinter is now turned on it's now ready to be connected so in the case of the apple devices as you know we have these new chargers this needs to be plugged into your charger port of your ipad or your iphone and here we have the 3.5 uh, millimeter cable so we're going to go ahead and connect your 3.5 here We'll connect your 3.5 to any one of these ports, in fact. And then we'll go ahead and connect this port to our phone. Once this is connected to the phone, you will then notice that you will not be able to hear any audio coming out of your phone because the audio is now coming through here into the 3.5 audio jack and you are now ready to actually begin. So you can place any item on the test plate. You can place a glass of water you can energetically charge your water, you can um, imprint items as well as importing, as well as exporting items as well. The other 3.5 audio jack, another option for you, if you do have uh, one, of the, uh, one of the geo harnesses, you can go ahead and attach your geo harness to this test plate over here. Quite simple process, we just go ahead, we get these set up, we plug in our geo harness here and here. And then our other audio jack, we can go ahead and plug that in here. Now, once we've got this plugged in here, we now know that the transfer of information or transfer of data is going to come from your device, your iPhone or your iPad. It's going to run through the plate and then at the same time, it's going to be running through your um, geo harness as well so here's a kind of of typical setup that you're looking at um, i'm just going to go ahead and connect my iphone here and i'll take you through uh, some of the tests that we can do to actually make sure that um, the program and the plate is actually working uh, correctly so what i like to do um, as a quick test uh, for the imprinter is go ahead and open up uh, your YouTube on your phone and if we go ahead and we unmute it as you can see we can hear our YouTube which is playing great now if I go ahead and connect this into my device it should connect the audio should stop here and then we should see pulses coming on over here I'm going to go ahead and turn up the volume and as you can see if we have a look on the pilot lights over here we can see that it's transmitting the data. So this is a quick little test. Um, go ahead and open up a YouTube. 
make sure you unmute it because if you don't unmute it obviously it will not work but now we know for for clarity's sake that this imprinting plate is working you know typically when it comes to the imprinting plates um, there are some plates that do not have batteries um, we've actually tested both with batteries and without batteries in other words no external power source the transfer of data um, in our opinion is not as effective when you actually have an external power source you know we obviously need to ch uh, charge uh, the actual labyrinth here as well and that does require a significant amount of basically energy so plugging this into the electrical outputs um, or using batteries it certainly does um, help achieve that so here we've got a basic setup of the imprinter pretty simple pretty easy when you're finished you can just go ahead and you can turn it off and you are good to go when you're next go ahead and turn it on and your imprinting plate is ready